Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the different methods of heating. First of all, we're going to look at the Bunsen burner. This method can be used for things which are not flammable. Bunsen burner has three settings. When the air hole is closed, this is the safety flame. This is not used to heat anything. This flame does not have much oxygen coming into the hole and is therefore quite sooty. If we half open the, sa the air hole, then we get the blue flame. This can be used for heating liquids. And with fully open, we have the roaring flame. This can be used for heating solids. Let's now look at some methods that you can use when you want to heat something which is flammable. The first is the use of a hot plate. This is a metal plate which you can set to a certain temperature. Here I've set this to 150 degrees. This also has the option for stirring. If you place a magnetic stirrer bar in with your solution, then you can set this to stir and it will stir whilst it heats. I've sped this part up as these can be quite slow to heat. You can see each of the sections light up as we get to the different temperatures. Here we have an electric heating mantle. This is often used with round bottom flasks. You can see that inside we have a material which will heat up. There is an electric heating element underneath. It is shaped so that a round bottom flask can fit snugly inside here. We then have a section where you can see if the power is on and then there is a temperature dial. This temperature dial does not have any actual temperatures written on it, it just says minimum to maximum. So you can use this to heat up or cool down as you require. Finally, we have the water bath. This can be used to heat things which do not need to be heated above 100 degrees. This produces a very regular temperature. We have a heating pad on the bottom and then you have the water. You can put beakers in here, bottles, you can even put test tube racks with test tubes or boiling tubes. You set the temperature to the exact temperature that you require and then you leave this to heat. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on X at Miss Adams Chem, Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry and TikTok Miss Adams Chem for updates on new videos, flashcards and short videos throughout the year. Bye for now!